Booth Wood, the Planning and Development Director. For a point of order, we need to elect a temporary chairman to preside over the meeting as we have an absence of the chair and the vice chair. Or the chair is not here on remote, um, and the vice chair is absent. So we need to have a motion. I'd like to make a motion to have Patrick Perla supervise the meeting. Second. Do we want to do a roll call? We have to. Paul Weiser? Yes. Dean Valier? Yes. Patrick Perla? Yes. Tom Kerrigan? Yes. Jason Paré? Yes. <laughs> Sal Ciccone? Excused. John Souza? Yes. Carol Torioso? Excused. All right. Well, Motion passes. Call, uh, open up the uh, scheduled public hearings, 6.30 p.m. Continued open public meeting for site plan application for Mary Mav, map 261, parcel five, Starbucks restaurant. All right, you'll note that in your packet, there's a uh, letter dated April 27th, and the applicant has requested for continuance. Um, they would like um, a 90-day extension instead of a 30-day extension. So it says um, in their letter dated April 27th, in addition, this office Grants the Lemonster Planning Board a 90 day extension to issue decision of the site plan approval application for the above reference project. And per stated section of the Lemonster Zoning Ordinance, within 90 days of the informal meeting, the planning board should act on the application. Um, they go over the other dates that we had the meetings on. We had one on November 15th, we had one on February 13th. And um, they would like an extension. Um, till August 12th, 2022. I think that they are looking to have it on the July 18th. Yeah, correct. So yeah. question, Chair, I know we haven't, uh, we haven't had that discussion yet, but we normally don't have two July meetings. We're not so, going to have one on July 4th okay. because it's so a Monday. July be so the July 18th will be the meeting. Then I, I move to grant that request and take this until July 18th. Second. Motion made and seconded. Can I get a roll call vote? So we're gonna, we need a time. 6.30? Oh, 6.30 if we have nothing else on the agenda. Okay, Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Moyer. Yes. Pat Perla. Yes. Tom Kerrigan. Yes. Jason Perret. Yes. John Souza. Yes. Carol Torioso, excuse. Sal Ciccone, excuse. Yeah. Now, do you need a separate motion to grant the 90 day extension? Um. No, do we? I don't think so. I think that's just something they request, and then the board decides to grant it. If we want to be just safe, we could do that. I'll be asking you what, whatever you do. This is why I need Carol sheet, though. <laughs> yeah, I think by right they have until August 12th. That's why they're looking to get it on the July 18th meeting. Okay. okay. They put it in writing, they made the request, so we're all set. Um, I'd like to make a motion to go to the regular meeting. Can I get a second on that? Sorry. Motion made and seconded to move to the regular meeting. Roll we'll call vote. Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Valier. Yes. Pat Perla. Yes. Tom Kerrigan. Yes. Jason Perret. Yes. John Souza. Yes. Carol Tarioso, excused. Sal Ciccone, excused. All right, call okay. to order. Uh, minutes of previous meeting. From the March 7th, 2022 meeting. These are in your packet. Stephanie did the minutes. I um, reviewed them. I wasn't there, so I'm not there. Make a motion to accept. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of the March 7, 2022 meeting. Roll call vote. Paul Weiser? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Dean Valier? Yes. Pat Perla? Yes. Tom Kerrigan? Yes. Jason Perret? Yes. John Souza? Yes. Carol Vittorioso, excused. Sal Ciccone, excused. Motion passes. 
Uh, plan submitted, 3.1 A&R for 253 and 279 Leggett Hill Road, map 425, parcels two and seven. Do we have someone here uh, in regards to the Leggett Hill property? Good evening, Doug Andreisic, Andreisic Lancerman, and we're here tonight on behalf of Patrick Ware and Patrick Ware, Philip Ware, and William Ware. Uh, we're on the western side of Leggett Hill Road, just northerly of the Sterling Town Line. Patrick Ware is the owner individually of number 279 Leggett Hill Road. It's just over an acre of land. Uh, Bunning property is owned by Patrick Ware, Philip, Philip Ware, and William Ware, uh, with a house in number 253. Patrick's garage was a little bit over his lot line in the back, so what we're doing is creating parcel A, containing 6,800 square feet that will allow the garage to, conf to conform with the building setback requirements. And Patrick A will come from the big lot owned by the three of them, be adjoined with land of Patrick individually. And in return, we're creating parcel B, um, the, the side of Patrick's lot, contain the exact same area, and that will be conveyed from Patrick to Patrick, Philip, and William, so that each lot stays with the exact same area they started with. Patrick's lot will have over 175 feet of frontage. The big property of 8.4 acres has well over 300 feet of frontage. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, motion to endorse. Second, sorry. Motion made, second to endorse. Roll call vote. Paul Weiser? Yes. Dean Bellier? Yes. Pat Perla? Yes. Tom Gardner? Yes. Jason Gray? Yes. John Souza? Yes. Carol Torioso, excused. Salt Chaconi, excused. Okay. Motion passed. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 3.2 A&R for Wilder Road, Lemonster, uh, slash 1 Crocker Avenue, Lindenburg, Massachusetts, map 418, parcel 9. Can I pass this out for now? Sure. Um, I want to let the board know that there's a memo in front of you that I wrote when I reviewed the original submission of this A&R that stated that there was not, there was originally three lots proposed, and I, and, um, one of the lots did not have frontage on an approved public way, so I recommend it be labeled non available lot or that the plan not be endorsed. Um, and the applicant is here with a revised plan, so what you have on your, what you had when line up until this afternoon was a different plan than what you presented in front of you. Okay. Um, John has it on his computer, and uh, we we walk. He looked at it before the meeting. Okay, so for the record, Bill Heaney here with Heaney Engineering. Uh, the original lot uh, was the entire piece. Uh, it had the house with number one Crocker. Crocker and uh, Geraldine Avenue are private ways, even though they've been uh, they have pavement. They've been re recently paved actually. Uh, so we originally had a lot line coming across this way to create two lots here, okay? Because of the status of this road needing potentially subdivision review under the board's or under the city's ordinance, what we decided to do was just keep the frontage on Wilder for the existing house and create frontage over here for the lot that would actually be, be built in the the Lemister, the Lemister lot has greater than 80 feet of frontage and, and width, um, so that's conforming in Lemister. In Lunenburg, what they allow is they allow a reduced frontage from 100 feet down to 50 feet as long as you double the area. So since the house will be built in Lunenburg, we're deriving our frontage from a public way in Lemister, still meets their regulations. Um, but what we did add a note for Elizabeth's request that this is not to be considered a building lot in Lemister. Okay, so that's the that's the essence of the plan. Uh, one last minute change that we made was the applicant decided he wanted to keep this garage building with this lot because if this stuff with Geraldine doesn't happen, he's gonna, he's gonna want to keep that anyways. So he just faded, let's, let's chop it out now because he's coming back for a different point. If we come back for Geraldine, basically lot one would be reconfigured, um, but we have to go through that process with the board through a, through a uh, subdivision control right. process. Right. Any questions from any of the board members in regards to this? And Elizabeth, you're satisfied here? Um, as it's amended, I'm satisfied, yes. Okay. And I uh, make a motion to endorse. Yeah. I'm sorry. 
And we spent a fair amount of time looking at this. And this is much better for us right now. We simplified the, uh, the, the process for now. And if, if the applicant decides to try to get that a lot, he has to go through that process and he understands that. Okay. Motion okay. made uh, in segment to endorse. Roll call vote, please. Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Valliere. Yes. Patrick Perilla. Yes. Tom Kerrigan. Yes. Jason Paré. Yes. John Souza. Yes. Carol Victoria is excused. South Dakota excused. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's now 6.40 p.m. Move to the 6.40 public hearing for City Council petition. Uh, number 49-22 regarding the sole ordinance, Article 3, Table of Uses in Section 22-104. Right. Um, Mayor? Yes. In motion to go back to hearings. Okay, we don't automatically go back to the hearing if it's no. time to go to the hearing? Uh, right, I'll, I'll make a motion. Oh, you're the actual motion. I'll, I'll make a motion to go to the uh, public hearing scheduled for 640. And I'll start your question. Motion made and seconded to move back to the public hearings. Roll, roll call vote. Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Boyer. Yes. Patrick Pearl. Yes. Tom Kerrigan. Yes. Jason Perez. Yes. John Souza. Yes. yes. Carol Vittorio, so excuse, South Dakota, excuse. Moving back to public hearing at 6.40 p.m. in regards to the sole ordinance. Um, yes, in your packet you have a petition that was sent to City Council. Um, this is as the board recommended it. Um, there were no changes uh, after the board reviewed it last. And now the City Council has referred it back to us. We've advertised it in the newspaper um, for tonight's hearing. And um, if there are any further comments, I'll relay them to City Council. No. As there is no one in the audience, would anybody on the board like to make any comments or have any questions in regards to the Thank, you for, thank you for working on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seemed like it went well with the City Council. Yeah. Great. There's a typo in uh, three ap applicability F. Where is it? No ground mounted solar photo. Page three. Uh, page two. Oh, it's not page. It's number three. Okay, where is it? F three F. No ground mounted solar photovoltaic installation of any size shall be. Is all, should be a BB. Okay. It's not the only thing I saw. Excellent catch. Well, good catch. Good call. We've been over this a lot of times, so. Well, B is B, but. Yep. Be B. Very good. Just let our base start the word B. 3F. Okay. All right. Um, would anyone in the audience like to make any comments in regards to the solar ordinance public hearing? No. I move to recommend approval. Motion made and seconded to recommend approval. Asking for a roll call. With the amendment. With the amendment. With the amendment. With the letter E. Did you say roll call? Yes. Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Bellier. Yes. Patrick Perella. Yes. Tom Garrigan. Yes. Jason Perret. Yes. John Souza. Yes. Carol Vittoriosa, excuse. Sal Chacon, excuse. Let me just back up a second and indicate that that was just to close the public hearing. We we'll want to vote on it in regular course at right. the moment. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, yeah, close the public hearing. Yeah, you're right. So we need a motion to close the hearing? No, that wasn't well, we'll, we'll utilize that as a motion to close the hearing. Uh, moving to the yeah, regular. Important at this point, is it? Important is only the hearing. Right. Correct. Close the hearing. Right. 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 That's what that was. Thanks, John. Let's change my motion to close Yes. Perfect. Moving back into the regular meeting. Yeah, I like how you adapt. In due course, 4.0 old business, 4.1 site plan application for Mary Map 261, Parcel 5 Starbucks restaurant. That has been moved to 6.30 p.m. on July 18th. 
5.0 new business 5.1 city council petition number 49-22 regarding solar ordinance article 3 table uses in section 22-104 now we make motion to recommend second motion made and seconded to recommend approval with amendment correct roll call vote please yes paul weiser <laughs> yes dean Valliere. yes patrick pearl yes tom kerrigan yes jason Perez. Yes. john souza yes Carol Terrioso, excuse, Sal Chacone, excuse. All right, 6.0, communications fee schedule for special permits. Yeah, in your packet, you have a letter that was sent to city council in regards to um, fee schedules. We mentioned this previously, um, that um, there was a petition coming from city council where they recommended the increase. Um, the board at that time looked at it and said, well, if we're going to increase one type of special permit, we should increase all special permits. But it has to be done by being put on the agenda with the planning board. Um, we got a legal opinion on this, and the legal opinion said it's the board's authority to do it, but the city council can do it as well. But just to make sure all bases are covered, we put we have it on the agenda tonight, and we'd like a vote to increase special permit fees, all of them, um, from 200 to 250 dollars. I did notify the mayor of this to see if he had any comment. He did not, so he's aware of this fee increase. And we're going to implement that starting July 1st, 2022. Is that the case? It, whatever the board decides. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have to make a motion. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth, I had a quick question. Sure. Um, are these fees enough to cover your advertising and everything else? Um, it's a fee. It's it's the application fee. Um. Yeah, it should be 250 plus the advertising. Yeah. Yes. This is just the application oh. fee itself. The advertising fee stays. Okay. Advertising is separate. Okay. We're we're keeping that. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Is July 1st the date you had in mind? Um. You know, I I wrote the city clerk's office and I asked them when. Um, they would like to see the fee increase, and they did not write back to me um, yet. I did not get a correspondence back. So maybe we should say, um, if we want to be concurrent with city council, we maybe the motion can be the effective date concurrent with the decision by city council. I don't know if we can do that or if we could just say July 1st. And I mean, July 1st is the start of the new fiscal year anyway. Right. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure. You that's can that's how my letter was to the to them proposing July 1st. Okay. So then I, I moved it to... Uh, the uh, vote to approve the fee schedule increase effective July 1st, 2020. Okay. To 200. Yeah, to 250. That would be right. That's the beginning of the fiscal year. Right. Yeah. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve uh, beginning on July 1st the fee increase. Can I have a roll call? Please? Paul Weiser? Yes. Dean Valier? Yes. Patrick Perla? Yes. Tom Carrington? Yes. Jason Bray? Yes. John Souza? Yes. Carver Torioso, excuse. South Dakota, excuse. 7.0, director's report. Yes, I'm going to um, publicize that we need Tom and John to submit their certificates for the ethics. I have no ethics. On the spot. <laughs> I need your certificate. Oh, yeah. He said he has no ethics. Oh, you have no ethics. Okay. Hey, wait, I just got sworn in. I said you're bad. Thanks, Mark. Um, yeah, we'll take care of that. We already have a few submissions in for the next planning yeah, board awesome. agenda. I got a, um, a letter from Lunenburg that they're proposing a development, a Roger, um, it was a hearing notice. Um, I don't know if they, you want me to get um, some more information from Lunenburg on what they're proposing. It's on um, Crawford Avenue by the airport. So um, it was quite a large building they were proposing. And I don't know if the board would like to ask for traffic counts or any, any other comments. I could, it's, their meeting is March, May 23rd. Our next meeting is May 16th. So I think it's gonna be some time to gather some information to bring it to you before their meeting, if you would like to provide comment on it. Okay. I get notices from other towns. I get notices from other towns. Tell me a board of road. 
It's on the airport. It's on it's Crawford Fitchburg. Avenue. Fitchburg. Or, or, or. It's in Fitchburg, Winnemurg okay. Line. That's what they said. Okay. I don't know how, how it works. Airport is nowhere near the building. The notice was from Lunenburg, oh, and it's yeah, on Crawford Street. Crawford Street. Where, where, where's that going? It is in Fitchburg. Right, it's in Fitchburg. It's Fitchburg. I can't envision where Lunenburg would have to be. It wouldn't. Yeah, the, the notice um, came from Lunenburg. It's you know going what? to Lunenburg. Yeah, actually, maybe it's in the back end. It could be. It's very good. It's going to the back end. Lunenburg has a little. You can go to the end of the whole road, take a right, and take yeah, a right. Yeah, Lunenburg, that's a funny piece. Swear to God, there's a funny piece coming from Lunenburg. You know where that little mall is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you okay. come back a little bit. Jason back has a map. Mm -hmm. That's how we know. Yeah, look at that little train station right here. Probably. Corner, the southernmost corner of Lunenburg touches Crawford Street. Yeah. Wow. How about that? I thought it was probably the Well, I, I feel more comfortable that these looked at it and decided that they wanted to comment on it. Sure. Um, so we're going to go to the airport. It's Crawford Street. So the building must be somewhere. I don't know what, I don't know what building this is, but it's nice to have a kid here that knows how to run a thing. No, that's not bad. <laughs> so this is up here where the flight was to be. Is that what we're talking about? Well, this is, uh, the airport. not at that point, yeah, but it's yeah, across the street. I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of. You know, not too far outside from there. That the railroad is the railroad tracks. Yeah. Are, it must a piece of Lunenburg must go right down to the railroad tracks. That would be my guess. On the yeah, on the Anything airport else? side of the railroad tracks. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, that's all I had for the okay. board tonight. All right. Well, no executive session. All right, for a motion I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. <laughs> motion being seconded to adjourn. Roll call vote, please. Paul Weiser. Yes. Dean Boyer. Yes. Pat Perla. Yes. Tom Kiernan. Yes. Jason Perret. Yes. John Souza. No. Oh, motion carries. Carrie Turioso. Motion carries. Motion carries. Thank you, Jerry.